Hello viewers in this tutorial we would learn about the loft feature of Autodesk Inventor by developing a solid named hammer head this feature is used when we want to create a solid by joining more than one closed profile sometimes optional rails and points are used that help in controlling the final outcome addition to this creation process of new work planes copy oblique paste function of sketches and many more things are also covered in this tutorial start a new part file using metric template next start a sketch on xy plane draw a rectangle of 60 by 60 mm coincident with the center point using two points center rectangle tool the sketch is complete so exit from the sketching mode turn on the visibility of xy plane from the browser bar create a new work plane by activating the offset from plane command fill 25 mm as an offset value turn off the visibility of xy plane now create a new sketch on this new work plane 1 draw a circle of 50 mm coincident with the center point and finish the sketch again create another work plane at an offset distance of 25 mm from the work plane 1 turn off the visibility of work plane 1 next create a sketch on the work plane 2 activate project geometry tool and take the project of following points present in the previous sketch draw a circle coincident with these two points and exit from the sketching mode next create another work plane at an offset distance of 40 mm from the work plane 2 again turn off the visibility of previous work plane select sketch 3 from the browser bar and copy it using right click context menu 
नेक्स्ट सेलेक्ट वर्क प्लेन थ्री पेस्ट द कॉपीड स्केच यूजिंग राइट क्लिक कंटेक्स्ट मीनू टर्न ऑफ द विजिबिलिटी ऑफ वर्क प्लेन थ्री एक्टिवेट लॉफ्ट टूल सेलेक्ट द स्केचेस स्टेप बाय स्टेप एज डिस्प्लेड हियर क्लिक ओके टू क्रिएट लॉफ्ट फीचर Change the color of the model as per your wish. make some changes in the lighting settings to see the model clearly Turn off the textures in the file. Save the file with the name Hammerhead. Set the current view as home view using view cube. create a work plane at an offset distance of 200 mm from this face of the model start creating a sketch on this new work plane draw a line 34.55 mm away from the center point of the model exit from the sketching mode next create a work plane by activating angle to plane around edge command to create the work plane first select work plane 4 then select the sketch line and in the angle field fill 200 degree turn of the visibility of work plane 4 create a sketch over this work plane first take the project of this line and turn off the visibility of sketch 5 
activate two point center rectangle tool and draw a rectangle of 150 by 5 mm coincident with the center point of projected line convert the projected line into construction geometry and exit from the sketching mode start a new sketch over yz plane Take the project of this point and close the visibility of sketch 6. Draw an arc connecting center point of the model and projected curve. apply a dimension of 550 mm over it and exit from the sketching mode turn on the visibility of sketch 6 activate loft tool select following sketch and edge of the model to define sections for the loft activate center line rail option Next, select R to define the rail and execute the command. Turn off the visibility of work plane five. Our work is complete. Hence, save the file. This is the final outcome of our model hammerhead